Doug's Hurricane Shack videos may be copied, remixed, transformed, and built upon with attribution. The Atlantic hurricane season, which officially begins on June 1st and ends on November 30th, is a period that often brings a mix of anticipation and apprehension for those living in coastal regions. This year, the pre-season forecasts from various organizations paint a, a worrisome picture, suggesting that the upcoming hurricane season could be more active than the active ones we've had already. The 30-year average of Atlantic hurricane activity is approximately 14 named storms. However, several institutions have released their predictions and the numbers are significantly higher than average. At the low end of the spectrum, North Carolina State University has forecasted between 15 and 20 named storms. The University of Arizona and the official French Meteorological Service have both predicted 21 named storms, while Colorado State University and the organization Tropical Storm Risk have estimated 23 tropical storms. The University of Mississippi has taken it a step further. They're calling for 26 named storms, and perhaps the most alarming prediction comes from the University of Pennsylvania. They have issued an unprecedented forecast of 33 named storms, give or take six. Now, the reason behind these ominous predictions are twofold. Firstly, the Atlantic surface temperatures are currently significantly above normal for this time of year, and they are expected to continue rising as the summer approaches. Warmer ocean temperatures provide more energy for tropical systems to form and intensify, increasing the likelihood of hurricane development. Secondly, it is anticipated that moderate La Nina conditions will persist in the Pacific during the peak of the hurricane season. La Nina is characterized by cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, which can influence global weather patterns. In the Atlantic, La Nina conditions typically lead to reduced wind shear, allowing tropical storms to develop and strengthen more easily. The combination of these two factors, warmer Atlantic waters, and the presence of La Nina creates a most favorable environment for hurricane formation and intensification. This has led to the concerning forecast from various institutions, suggesting that the upcoming hurricane season could be one of the most active in recent years. And it should be noted, the top five most active hurricane seasons in the Atlantic have all occurred in the 21st century with the exception of the 1933 season. Remarkably, three of these top five seasons have all taken place since 2020, highlighting the increasing frequency of above average hurricane activity in recent years. And this trend underscores the importance of being prepared for the potential of another highly active season. Now I've got my scripts ready for the hurricane season. I'll be making videos for both the Atlantic and Pacific, something I haven't done in a few years. I've also got my website back up and running, though it is very much a work in progress. The season begins on June 1st, but the NHC will begin issuing tropical weather outlooks next week, May 15th. I'll see you then. Doug's Hurricane Shack videos may be copied, remixed, transformed, and built upon with attribution.